We have a fundamental lack of imagination about the future. We believe that tomorrow is going to be like today. But what I'm here to tell you is that tomorrow is going to be very different from today. And the next century is going to be very different from the first century of the MSCPA. It's hard to explain the magnitude of changes of uh, adaptation in the last, you know, probably 30 minutes. Uh, so to try to do it from a 125-year perspective is almost uh, impossible. You could go back to, you know, mechanical adding machines and mechanical devices that track transactions to obviously big, huge mainframe computers that track transactions. And so I think if we go back in early history, you know, we were we were a very small profession, and then really in the, in the 70s, just an explosion of the number of people. And as a result, the number of people finding different services to provide and that trusted role that, that I think has probably been unchanged throughout the century. CPA is a profession, and I think as a profession, people bring it to their everyday life a commitment that might be different than people who might work a job. And, you know, certainly there's been ebbs and flows in that generationally, but for the most part, I think people come in as a professional with a, and just an unbelievable commitment to quality, competency, and ethics. And I think that sort of manifests itself in the values of what CPAs are all about. And so I think that that's the common trait that you'll find. The CPA, we have a term we call the trusted advisor, and we really do believe CPAs are the trusted advisor. They, in many instances, the CPA knows more about a business person's life than literally anyone, including maybe the lawyer. It's often said that, you, you know, you know when there's sickness in the family or a divorce that's occurring or, or all those things because there's a financial connection. And that trusted advisor role is so critical, but to really deliver on it, you have to be able to deal with the complexity of the world. That is, every day, almost impossible to comprehend, but still so important in the relationship. anniversary, a milestone, you know, in our country is, a, is an incredible accomplishment and inside the profession is a, a credible accomplishment. And so on behalf of the 400,000 CPAs that the AICPA represents in every corner of this country, I'm really honored to have spent the time with the CPAs in Montana on their celebration event and at the same time to offer on behalf of all 400,000 members a warm uh, recognition and congratulations to all of the members of the society. There were 26 past presidents of the society at the event, an incredible number when you consider 100 years. You do a lot of things right, you contribute immensely to the success of our profession. It's a 100 year anniversary and that's something to be incredibly proud of and you know not a heck of a lot of states are, have already experienced the 100 years so Montana is on the, on the forefront of that. You know 100 years is a, is a, is a very long time in the history of, of our country and certainly for the western part of our country and, it, and the profession played a role very early on here in this society. You know, clearly Montana has this national image of people who, um, you know, love life and, and love the connection to uh, the environment and, and the things that you can do for enjoyment that are connected to the earth, basically, you know, uh, skiing and hunting and fishing and, and, and camping and hiking and all of those types of things. of CPAs for the past 100 years of excellence and to the next 100 years of superior service to our members. Happy anniversary. And now have a happy, happy second hundred years.